y'all chick come close to me, she ain't going home where she supposed to be. I'm getting money like I'm supposed to be. I'm getting money like I'm supposed to be. Hi guys, it's Mildred. Welcome back to my channel. Today's DIY will be the stress shorts. I have two methods. One is using tweezers and the other is using a nail filer. I find using the tweezers a little bit more tedious than the nail filer method, but both are equally easy and will have the same result at the end. So I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started. The materials you need for this DIY include real denim jeans, tweezers, scissors, white pencil, and a nail file. Put on your loose pair of jeans. I'll be using a pair that I thrifted. I recommend real denim jeans with no stretch to them so they can have that full distress effect after washing. We will be cutting a v-shape. You don't want to cut them straight or it won't look right. First we will be marking 2-3 to three inches from the crotch area so it doesn't end up too short. Grab your white pencil and mark where you want the v-shape. Take the jeans off and find your mark. We will be finishing the marking of the v-shape on a flat surface. Time to make the patches. Pull out the pockets because you don't want to cut through them. To keep it safe, add an extra inch and cut. In order to be symmetrical, use the already cut leg as a template. Once you've cut both, make sure they're equal again by folding them in half. I like to have an idea where my distressing parts are, so I grab a white pencil again and draw them on. These markings aren't always going to be set on stone and will be adjusted to my liking once I actually distress them. Now it's time to distress. Pinch the piece of denim and create two parallel cuts horizontally. You're pretty much trapping the blue threads you're planning to pull out. I'm cutting these holes where the pockets are underneath. This prevents from too much skin revealing once I finish cutting. Remember that these holes will stretch in time depending on how much you wear and wash them. Cut them however you like. It doesn't have to be perfect. They're destroyed for a reason. My first method is removing the blue threads with tweezers. The first blue thread is always the hardest to pull out. But after a few, they come out easily. This method gives you a nice clean distress of exposing the white threads. My second method is filing your cut. Place your fingers under the cut but make sure you don't file away your skin. I think a nail filer is a way better tool than sandpaper. It's easy to grip for your hand. File until you see the fraying of the white threads. And now you can easily tug them apart. Instead of pulling each blue thread separately, you can pull them in a larger group. I call this my lazy way of distressing. But you still end up exposing the white threads. The left side I use the tweezer method. And the right side I use the nail filer method. Like I said before, both are equally easy to do and have the same result at the end. Once you're done distressing, give them a shake so all the blue strings fall out and throw them in the washer dryer where the magic will happen. Then you're done with your DIY distress shorts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This DIY is also great for distressed boyfriend jeans. Just like these. Just remember not to cut them into shorts, obviously. I know there's a ton of videos for this DIY, but I just wanted to make my own version. But subscribe, like, do whatever, and see you next video. Bye!